Hi guys, it's Dr. Crad with you today, and today I wanted to share with you a case of a patient in his 60s who presented with bilateral uveitis, left eye much worse than the right eye. I started an aggressive course of topical steroids. You can see a little microhypopian. There's a deep stromal keratitis. There's a posterior synechiae, a lot of fibrin, four plus cell, fixed pupil that doesn't move, and it doesn't move, by the way, with accommodation either. Despite Durazol, every two hours, the inflammation and vision got worse in both eyes. This patient didn't have a history of uveitis, but given the poor response to treatment, we knew something wasn't right, so we ordered some blood tests. And very interestingly, the test came back positive for syphilis. The RPR and VDRL were positive, and when I spoke to the patient, he did confirm some risky activity in his past. So we started a course of IV penicillin, and just uh, look at the significant improvement after half of his course of IV penicillin. His vision and inflammation improved significantly with IV penicillin and Durazol four times a day. And next I will show you pictures of his posterior segment uh, before IV penicillin. We couldn't really see the retina. And after the IV penicillin, the view, the vitritis, the posterior uveitis improved significantly. He did have a little bit of disc edema now apparent. After his full course of IV penicillin, his vision improved even further. His disc edema was gone. His symptoms were all gone. His pupil stayed fixed, though, in this position, and it would not react to either light or accommodation. So although super rare, syphilitic uveitis can still happen. Consider it in patients with bilateral uveitis who are not responding to topical treatment. I hope you found this case presentation helpful, and thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.